Sibal model. Data requirements for Sibal. Sibal requires a satellite image and some weather data. A land use map for the area of interest is also helpful. This course is designed for Landsat satellites, first of all Landsat 8. It is important that the image used is for a totally clear sky. Evapotranspiration cannot be computed for cloud-covered and land surfaces because even a thin layer of clouds can considerably uh, drop the thermal band readings and cause large errors in calculation of sensible heat fluxes. Header files Images are generally created with an associated header file or metadata. The header file for the satellite image is a relatively small file that contains important information for the SEBAL process. The following information must be obtained from the metadata or header file uh, for entry into SEBAL. The satellite overpass date and time. The latitude and longitude of the center of the image. The sun elevation angle at the overpass time. Gain and bias levels for each band. The satellite overpass time is expressed as Greenwich Mean Time and must be converted to local time. This information is needed to convert digital numbers into energy units. Land use. A land use map is not a requirement for Sebel but is highly recommended since it is useful in estimating the surface roughness parameter. The land use map divides the area of interest into various general classes of land use such as agriculture, city, water, desert, forest, grasslands, and etc. Weather data. The following weather data are recommended for processing Sebal. Wind speed. Required hourly data is preferred. Precipitation. Daily data are recommended for a several week prior to uh, per period prior to the image. In addition to wind speed data, the following weather data are recommended for calculating hourly da and daily reference evapotranspiration. If the reference evapotranspiration are available for the image area, then the following data are not needed. Humidity, hourly data such as vapor pressure or dew point temperature. Solar radiation, hourly is preferred. A temperature hourly is preferred and reference of transpiration. The wind speed at the time of the satellite overpass is required for the computation of sensible heat flux and for the uh, reference of transpiration calculation. Precipitation data is used to evaluate the general wetness of the areas that have received rain within 4 or 5 days before the image date. Humidity data are necessary for the reference evapotranspiration calculation. Solar radiation data are useful for the estimation for, of the cloudiness of the image and for adjusting the atmospheric transmissivity. Reference evapotranspiration is the estimated evapotranspiration for a well watered reference crop, usually alpha alpha. It is used to compute a sensible heat flux as a called onshore pixel and to compute the reference evapotranspiration fraction that is used to predict a 24 hour and uh, seasonal evapotranspiration. Weather conditions. Weather conditions might not be uniform within a satellite image. If the area of interest uh, has a variety of terrains and land use such as mountains, valleys, agriculture, deserts and grasslands, the weather conditions may vary significantly. If the primary interest uh, is evapotranspiration from agricultural fields, one should use a weather station located in an ag agricultural area. In cases of widely varying terrain of land use, one should consider using data from uh, two or more weather stations. It is important that the weather data uh, came from a location that is near, within 50 kilometers, of the locations of the hot and cold onshore pixels. Unquote.